Good morning, everyone. Hope everything is okay. Can you hear me? We're trying to figure out a few stuff that is uh, going to work. In a few mo moments, I'm going to put back my mask on. But, uh, good morning. I, I, I hope you have a, had a good morning. Uh, yeah, this is so stressful, you know. I think I'm going to start drinking. So I truce or Jägermeister. I'm not sure. Just drinking. These are good things. Good, good water, good juices to begin. But we are here this morning to... Uh, there, I'll explain to you what, why I brought those things. But this morning we're here to work on um, on our hot cross buns, our hot cross buns, and and so uh, I hope yeah yeah you're gonna have we're gonna have fun, and of course Julia here with me on under her mask, and I don't know if you can see, but this is the, oh. Jen is over there, and and so she's the expert. We are just going to work things out. So it's a, a huge tradition, uh, the Catholic tradition uh, of today, uh, Holy Thursday, which is a time in which we uh, celebrate the institution of the Holy Eucharist, as well as the institution of the priesthood. So today is really a priest uh, celebration day. It's really strange that during, this is a time of, of penance and, 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 and things like that, and, and Lent, right? Very, quiet and somber. And then we had this celebration right in the middle. So we actually are supposed to celebrate pretty weird in that way. And then tomorrow we, we celebrate. Uh, we, we don't eat anything really, very little uh, of eating. Okay. So, um, so this is wonderful. I'm glad you can join me. So, you know, so on today, there's so many, especially during this time of Holy Week, there's so many type of foods that are being presented and for Easter as well. So we start, we will be going on hot cross bun, but I just want to show you a few things. Like somebody, an Italian grandmother, Anna Pacella, brought me some, uh, this is the sign of the resurrection. Uh, how do I pronounce it? Tagia. Oh boy, I got it all wrong. <laughs> but, uh, this is a sign of uh, of the resurrection, and it's called um, it's spelled T A L L, Tarale. I think it's Tarale. And she also so in Catholic tradition during Easter and Lent, there's so so many. And she brought me also this Aschetta. It's also the sign of the resurrection, uh, with the bread all around and a, like a basket. Right, and then the egg in the middle is the sign of the resurrection. Can you, right there, so the sign of the resurrection. So, tradition, uh, faith is a part of our, our very, uh, our very core, and food is also that very core. Right, the the Eucharist is is a meal. It, it has switched. <laughs> so, is is that our very core? Uh, so the the heaven is described as as a banquet of rich foods that, that all the nations will come and enjoy. It's all, so often it's about eating. And so being Catholic, uh, not only, you know, we celebrate, we have feasts and fasts, but we have fasts and feasts. And, and so this is a great tradition. And so today we will uh, do the, um, the, uh, the hot cross buns, which is a, a started in England according to uh, catholicculture.org and other places. It says it started in England, my source tells me. And it is a uh, hot cross bun, which usually is very plain. And with a cross, an icing, a cross, use of uh, icing in the middle as a sign of the cross of our Lord, usually made today or tomorrow and eaten for tomorrow. But today, you know, we can celebrate. It's an interesting thing. We have the institution of the Eucharist and, 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 the, and the priesthood today. And so we celebrate, but tomorrow we kind of, uh, we no more feasting, fasting for tomorrow. So we're making the bread, the hot cross buns today uh, so that we can uh, use and celebrate for tomorrow. I hope all of you can hear me. Grade two is watching. Oh, grade two. Hello, grade two. Send Good your questions. Send your questions. Okay. Um, uh, 
and then so Julia is here as well. She knows all the answer and <laughs> everything. <laughs> so wonderful. And so, you know, the, the Eucharist was um, instituted today and it, it comes from the Jewish form that is of the Seder meal uh, Jesus celebrated with his disciples. Of course, it has bread and uh, usually ma matzah, which is unleavened, but we have le um, we will make leavened bread today, and also bitter herbs and the lamb of sacrifice. Of course, it's a sign of Jesus, and so uh, so many things. Catholic are at the heart of we, we love food. We love food, and we make food in in the in the form of celebrating the feasts and and journeying with Jesus through through throughout the year and in, in Lent and Easter and Christmas. Talking about bitter herbs, right? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> we, have to. we have to begin right away? Okay. okay. Uh, well, let's let's start right away. <laughs> let's start doing our... Um, so take it away. Who's, uh, let's begin how, how we're going to begin. Let's start with a prayer first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving and gracious Lord, Help us to celebrate the feast day today of the institution of the Eucharist and the priesthood. You invite us to the banquet that is your body and your blood. You invite us to the banquet that eternity with your Father. Help us to enjoy today the gifts of yourself and the gift uh, of that we are about to receive. This is the gift of hot cross buns. So together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hello, great fives, Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, great fives. Welcome. Wonderful to see you as well. Is this your first time making hot cross buns? Is this? Uh, yes, it is my first time. By the way, I've made other kind of bread. Like when I was a young priest, uh, a lady taught me depression bread. It was very interesting. And uh, <laughs> depression bread and also other types of breads as well. So not the first time I, I, I have bread, I make bread, but hot cross bun, it will be my first time. So. We're good. I'm going to put on my mask now, okay, and let us begin. Okay, so oh. we're going to make um, more of a north help me. Should I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so we're going to make a North American style version of hot crust bun. So we're going to use yeast and we'll do an icing cross at the end. Um, this is not as traditional as something like sourdough. Traditionally, you would do a, a flour and water cross, but for simplicity and speed today, we're going to do North American. That's as big as my voice gets. <laughs> so, the easiest way to do this by hand when you have no machines is you're going to start by mixing your wet ingredients and your dry ingredients separately, and then you combine them. Um, Father, you might want to take your watch off because you're going to get goopy. Okay. I even made him put on an apron because I was worried about covering him with flour. We would call him Father Ghost. <laughs> so how complicated is this? I'm a little bit scared. This is really, really simple. Anybody can do this. So I've done a little bit of prep work for all of you to make it easier. You each need a whisk. And a bowl. And a bowl. So this is for our wet ingredients. So we have six tablespoons of butter. I've already melted and cooled it. That you want to put into your bowl. Put your butter in your bowl. Oh, put, yep. your, oh, put yeah. your butter in your bigger bowl. I just measured it out ahead of time to help you a little bit. Thank you, Jen. And then you're going to crack three eggs each. These are Jen's eggs. These are from my chickens. From yes. the chickens, yes. From the chickens. I did not make, I did not make the eggs. Switch. So what? take three oh, eggs and put them in your butter. Crack the eggs. Um, Oh, how many eggs? Three, three eggs. Three eggs. Three okay, eggs. okay. So crack three eggs. eggs. This is going to be interesting. First time counting. One. Two. 
and three. Okay. Oh, I got some shells so in there. I'm going to give each of you three. Some shells in there. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> the trick is that you put the eggshell back in. And okay. And now I'm going to give you, before you whisk, three quarter cup of water. Three quarter cups of water. <laughs> Don't whisk yet. You're not done. Hold on. Louder. Father, say it one more time louder. Three, what was that? Three quarters. Three quarters cup of water. <laughs> warm water. Luke warm one. water. Luke warm water. So it's comfortable <laughs> on your head. So you're going to get mucky later. We're going to get mucky later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, before you start mixing. Louder. Don't, don't mix yet. Don't mix yet. You have one more Stop job to do. laughing, Julia. <laughs> Put your okay. whisk down. Whisk down. So I like to make it with a little bit of spice. A little so, bit of spice. So we do the orange zest. Or, okay. Have you ever zested it? No, other way. Other way. Other way. Like there you go. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And you want your zester. Zester. Put your zester on the bottom so the zest okay. goes in the bowl. Okay. There you go. Nice. Yes. You know, usually... Uh, it smells good. It smells wonderful. Yes. Uh, the, the, some more? Just the skin? Or? Just the orange part is your zest. I you want to we, do about half the orange, and then Julia can do I the hope you half. wash the orange already. Yes. Okay, very good. The okay. trick to flavor is not washing the orange. Well, okay, we didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good? Yep, and then Julia needs Julia, some. Julia, okay. And then, yes, you can whisk. whisk I can whisk. whisk. That doesn't have to be... All over the kitchen or the computer. Well, my apologies. Eh? <laughs> this is going to get messy. Mac. Just my expensive laptop. No <laughs> By the way, if you ever need some eggs, Jen has, I think her, her chickens are producing eggs again from mm -hmm. uh, the farm. So I love growing up as a kid, we used to have chickens with the uh, Free range chickens. The eggs are just very different from the store bought. So they taste very different as well. It, it, it's like tomatoes. You ready? Okay. Like when is I was enough? in Italy, tomatoes uh, that is ripened by the sun is so tastier than in, in the hot house. But you know, here we can't grow year round like in Italy or other places. In some places in Italy, not not all the time. Okay, okay. we're done. Now just set that aside for a minute. Set aside, okay. Uh, are you whisked up there, Julia? Uh, it can be faster. It doesn't have to be. If I make a mess, that's okay. We'll clean up any messes we make. I'm pretty sure. Emma, <laughs> Emma will. <laughs> all right, there we go. Um. So we have three large bowls because I was trying to keep the kitchen from three large bowls okay. to becoming too messy. So I bought larger bowls rather. Okay. And this is very simple. Very simple, she says. Very simple. Well, we'll we'll figure that out within a few seconds of how simple it is. So you want four cups of flour. One, four cups of flour. Two. Three. I hope I brought enough flour from home for all of you. Four. Do I just set my little eggs aside? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to hope I have enough flour here for everybody because I just grabbed my flour bucket from home. I don't think I do. Okay, so Julia, one of us won't make. You can make. Because I didn't bring enough flour. I can just home. watch and I'll just. Okay. Okay. Do you want to make a little bit of a well in the middle? And we're gonna make a well in the middle. We're gonna <laughs> I don't know if you can hear her, but I'm just trying to, you know, it's really hard talking through the, the mask, but we're doing our best. I'm going to add half a cup of sugar now. Half a cup of sugar in the well. Okay, and then you're going to add your choices of spice. Choices of spice. And we also need a little bit of salt. Ooh, salt. And some salt. Do we have salt? I'm sorry, I didn't actually... Bring my salt from home. Okay, we forgot some salt. I think we do have salt here. What happened to all our salt? We don't cook anymore. <laughs> Nobody cooks anymore. Not we'll, here. We'll do what we can find. So I do half a teaspoon of ginger. For salt. We actually don't have salt. I do not have salt. 
my kitchen. Okay. So, so I, I knew I was going to forget something. Okay. So I use ginger. How do I do this? Ginger? Ginger? We have ginger. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Half a teaspoon each. Can you hear me? What's wrong? We will get the salt. They have to run over to my kitchen to get some salt. Is that my way? Do you want me to? So, okay, and then we're going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon. A te teaspoon of cinnamon. Don't forget the salt. I'm yes. Kind of doing this for <laughs> Don't forget the salt. Salt's important. So That's what, quite ready what, for what is here? So we have cinnamon, cinnamon, nutmeg, nutmeg, ginger, and ginger. Okay. And then, and in a while, with sugar in it. Okay. So we're using yeast rather than sourdough for this one. So yeast. So this is called Fleischmann Quick Rise. Fleischmann Quick Rise. Gotta show. There you go. There. So okay. Two and a quarter, approximately. Two and a quarter. A uh, teaspoon? Mm hmm Okay. Two. Approximate. Doesn't have to be exact as baking. Baking is friendly. So that, that's, uh, that's a kind of bacteria, isn't it? Kind of. <laughs> not a bacteria. I think it's a, not a fungus, but uh, yeast. It's a form of yeast. Yes. Yes. Well, that is called but Jesus did say to us, be like the yeast. Rises in the yeast and yes. sets in the waste. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in the yeast. He said to be like yeast? Yeah, yeah, for us to be like the leaven. Leaven right? is yeast. So to be the leaven. Weird about me. So you can you two <laughs> can just kind of blend your dry ingredients. Blend now with our hands or a whisk? Which, whichever you prefer. You're gonna have okay. to get to your hands at some point. Okay, hands. Mix them all together. And we still don't have salt, so we'll be adding our salt in, in a minute. Okay. While that interlude, we're looking for our salt. Um, you know, one of the uh, wonderful uh, type of bread that we can make at this time, it's the pretzel. You know, some of you are one. Uh, you know, the pretzel is pretty often you think about it during the time of you watching hockey or soccer or, 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 or things like that, right? And But it is really, uh, the pretzel is, is in the shape of, uh, a hand in prayer. So this is the tradition at this time. You can also make pretzels as well, which is very plainly made with water, uh, salt, and, and flour. That's it. And then shaping it into the, the pretzel form, which is a, a type, type of prayer. Well, some of them, well, <laughs> I've been con contradicted, but plainly you can also just make it without just very plain and simple as well. She said the yeast in this as well. <laughs> okay, so mix it all together. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add... While we're waiting for the salt. Or you can start adding in your wet ingredients and we'll incorporate the salt when we put in our raisins too. Okay. So you're going to take your butter, egg, water mixture. We're going to take orange. this mixture and everything and pour it together. Mm-hmm. And now this is where you get goopy. Is it is there a question? Yeah, someone needs to manage the screen. Can't wait to see the end product. I bet we will be able to smell it from the school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very orangey. <laughs> Looking good, Father. Do you think they had similar baked goods at the castle <laughs> Fun fact about Father Matthew, that is his favorite council. Oh, right. He loves the Council of Trent. Well, of Ephesus as well. I don't know, <laughs> most of you won't understand. <laughs> so. Okay, here comes the salt. Okay, we've got the salt. Okay. And we want to add one and one quarter teaspoons of salt. You're the salt you have, huh? One and a quarter yeah. teaspoon. Hopefully, it's not the good stuff. So. <laughs> That's it. You've got the big. No, it's it's. So the Eucharist one is uh, celebrated one today, and, and it follows yeah, the. While we're talking, uh, making the stuff, uh, it, it's it, it's from the Jewish tradition, and and so we, Jesus changes like the lamb uh, that is part of uh, so the Jewish seder meal 
includes bitter herbs. In, uh, no, in, it's in, not. I'm scared of the it. lamb, as well as uh, you know meat, lamb meat, as well as um, bread that is uh, that is unleavened bread, and few other things as well. But uh, from there, Jesus used that very fact of him being the he becomes the Lamb of God, rather than uh, a, a lamb that we all know as the, the lamb. Uh, I can't really work and, and talk at the same time. It's, it's really difficult. We're going to add raisins in in a minute. So you've got So salt. we're going to... Oh, that noise. We're going to add raisins as well. So raisins is added. This is three-quarter cup, and they've been warmed and kind of steamed to make them softer. So, so warmed and steamed to make them softer already. Salt time. We already you, salt. You, I don't have salt. Over there. Salt over minute. there. Only one and Jesus, of course, telling us to be salt of the earth. That's oh, Father, what is the image on the apron? Well, it's a rooster. It's a rooster. By the way, it's a very beautiful today that we also talk about roosters because you know how the cock, before the cock crows twice, Peter denies Jesus three times. And so that's the symbol of the... the the rooster here so on celebration of the eucharist but also of his betrayal to come as well so uh, uh, a neat uh, historical fact or should i say geographical thing if you ever go to portugal any of you from portugal i hope you're from portugal some of you they don't have crosses on their steeple of their churches they rather have the they they rather uh, have the rooster instead a sign that uh, you know, Peter's denial at the same time. Okay. It's not. It's, that looks pretty good. It's coming. Look, so it's coming. You can always add a little bit more salt, but remember, it's going to rise. It's going to rise. The grade fives want to remind you to wash your hands when you're done. Okay. Yes, grade fives. I will <laughs> wash my hands when I'm done. But remember, when it's in the baking. All COVID will be dead. Okay, so when you have a fairly good bowl, and Father, yours is pretty good. Okay. You're just gonna form a bowl and leave it. Oh, in. but look at Jen's ball. Okay. <laughs> look at Jen's ball. Get this ball out. Show Jen's. Wow. Wait a second. I you can... want to incorporate it into a little ball, and then you can keep going, and it'll become more and more elastic. But you can also just let the yeast work. This is hard work. It is. Where's the machine? No machines today. No machine, to all handwork. Okay, it's a lot of fun. I'm they are strong. It's a good workout. I'm beginning to sweat already. Wow! So in Portugal, you will have the rooster instead of uh, the cross on their steeple. So, so don't don't be afraid when you see oh a, a rooster on top of a steeple. Oh, it's, it's a Catholic church. So you will know. What if we replace our Grade two says, that? great job. Okay. So, can we leave these for a minute and go to the next stage? Okay, we go. Julia, you can go back to the next one. We need to cover these with a damp towel. So we need to cover this with a damp towel now. Mm -hmm. How damp? Yeah. What? Damp is damp. What heat? Like hot? No, just like a warm damp towel. So you take a tea towel. Take a tea towel. Get it wet, wring it out, and drape it over. <laughs> and drape it over. Okay, here we go. And wash your hands. Father, how has, has much good kneading technique? Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So... Bring out the towel. <laughs> so a wet towel and put it over. Okay. Very good. Hey, I hope good. it's mixed Whoa. enough. Like that. And then set it aside to rise. Set it aside to, to rise. rise. Okay. So very good. Okay. So now we're okay. going to get messier. We're going to get messier. Yes. I should have brought more flour from home. For some reason, we were not making this much, but that's okay. Okay. So we're going to get our work area nice and floury. And your risen dough. 
will look like this and feel like this. It's warm. Okay. So the we are, you know already done it. Risen, risen uh, doll, of course, the risen Lord, but also, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's supposed to feel warm. Yes, it does feel warm. Okay. Can you feel it? It's warm. <laughs> so now you need. Uh, uh, can, can we eat this like this? No. The dough? It no, we can't. Very good. Okay. But... Some people do. I think when I was a kid, I would eat the raw dough. Okay. So. This is a pastry cutter. You want to cut 12. Where's she going? I don't think she's going to hold this. But it's okay. 12, 12. Approximately same size pieces. How do I cut 12 out of here? Okay, so you go okay. like. Okay. Oh, in the, okay. 12 equal pieces. Okay. Like that. All right. So that's two, four. Grade twos and fives. How do I? Uh, let me know how, how many. many <laughs> how do I? Need? He's got four. Four. So how many we need? You need twelve. Twelve. So four. What does that mean? Put so these each, into three equal pieces. Right. So divide. Three each. Question for me. How long do you want your dough to rise? You want your dough to rise for one and a half to two one. hours in bulk. Two, three, one. One and a half two, to two three. hours in bulk. This way. What was what, what was the question? How long we let it rise in bulk? How do we how long do we let it to rise in bulk? One and a half to two hours. One and a, one and a half to two you hours. Yes. Wow. That's, that's why a, we're doing it this way with the rising's ah, already done. That's a that's a lot of uh that's a lot of patience. These days we don't have much patience. We want it now, right? <laughs> but anything good, we had to have time, right? Okay. One, two, three. There we okay, go. So now I'm starting to feel like a decoration. You have to make <laughs> balls. Okay, so you want to see this, the flowery side's not going to stick together. So you want to go with the unflowered side, kind of fold it together and then turn it over. And that's the top of your bun. So then you're going to kind of work it until the underside. And you can take it and you can roll it. So we. But the goal is to make it kind of smooth on top. Bigger, some will be smaller. That's okay. That's the beauty of baking. Yes. I like food that's imperfect. How many corners do you fold up? Well, you want to fold them all kind of in until you've got a nice smooth round top. Okay. And you pinch the bottom together so it wants to stay together. Pinch it together so they want to be staying together. Okay. There's different techniques you to do. Here you go. Uh, Flip it help. over and then you kind of want to work it into a ball. Can I help? Work it into yes, the ball. Yes, please, Julia. Yes, we have 12 of them. Oh, I instantly regret asking. What a... Okay, <laughs> so does it matter if it looks like this on nope. the bottom? No, you just want to tighten, tighten pin, them, okay, pinch them just together. a little bit okay. so it doesn't want to open up when it's okay. rising. Okay, so pinch it Because it's going to rise again. <gasps> okay. Rise and rise. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and soft. Okay, is that good? Mm -hmm. And so we put it in the pan. We're going to fit 12 in here, so they're going to be kind of tightly packed. Oh. Mine is like a hamburger. Okay. <gasps> Not like a little bit of space because they're going to rise. They're going to grow bigger. Okay. This one's mine. So, some spacing. Okay. We'll show you before when we're all done as well. Yeah, they still are very warm. The the dough is still warm. 
It's interesting. Well, this is just like the Catholic Church, right? Some are big, some are small, some are holy, not so holy. You know, we are like a hospital of all sorts, uh, shapes and sizes, not uniform. That's a great thing. You if, know? Th if this is the church, that's me. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, we have to talk a bit louder. It's hard through the masks. Yeah. Microphones are on. Can you hear me now? So we were talking that this is just like the church, big and small, some round, not so round, holy, not so holy, well and not so well. But we are a hospital, right? Where we are, as Pope Francis says, a, a frontline hospital where we are healed. We're we healed by Christ. All are welcome, big or small. What's that song? How's it go? Come to. <laughs> okay, stop singing. Well, that, that might, might scare the potential Catholics away, so don't. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I try so hard. Okay, so. Okay, beautiful phone. Okay, very good. Nice phone. I know. It's a nine by thirteen. Is a. Everyone should have. You, most people have them in their kitchens for different baking. So, a little casserole. Well, what is it? What's the size? A nine, nine by, by thirteen. thirteen. Nine, nine by, by thirteen. Nine by thirteen. There we go. All okay, right. so we're gonna set this aside. Set same that aside. Okay. The same method. You cover with a damp towel and let it cover. rise about two hours. So cover this with a damp towel. And okay. then it will look like this in they, about two hours. In about two hours, they will look like this. Okay. And then you preheat your oven to 350. Preheat oven to three, 350. 350. Oh, you have viewers from Kamloops. Ooh. And then we bake them. Hello, people from Kamloops. Do you deliver to Cam I will hand deliver these to Kamloops. I've never <laughs> been. Okay, I also don't know where that is. <laughs> uh. So. <laughs> Wait, what direction? Is there a young man for Julia in Kamloops? I wonder. <laughs> okay. Oh, a school. Oh, it's not a. Well, I don't know if the whole school. <laughs> it's got to be older. So I'm going to quickly clean our, our workspace. We've got those in the oven now, the ones that are risen. They're in the oven. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees, which is different from sourdough. 350 degrees for about 24 25 minutes so you're saying that it can be done with sourdough dough this is a uh, quick yeast but so sourdough can be done on using the sourdough as well. website we put in a, a traditional method and we put in a north american method so this a recipe so on the, on web the page, website and there, on facebook so there there are two recipes one the traditional sourdough based and and then there's the the more modern one, simple risen with yeast and finished with ice crossing. So it's all on the web page, okay? It's all all there for you to, to, to look at. Because we're gonna finish our buns. So when they come out of the oven, how do I how do I show this? Right here. But it doesn't okay. show. Does it? Can you see? I don't know. Emma, can you see these? No. Okay. So how do we fix the camera? It was different. All right. Well, let's stop talking about Julia. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back. Okay, so that so when they're done. When they are done, they, they are they golden look... like this. We make a little marmalade glaze. So we take. Marmalade. Sorry, Connor. So the glazing is made of marmalade. And uh, and some uh, hot just water, a water, just a little water, and uh, you know, twirl it together, and then making the glaze for this marmalade glaze. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what are we what are we doing next after this? We need to make the icing for the. So we the next uh, thing we're doing is the icing. All I right. Need another whisk for okay. hi, father. Watching from ooh, Seashell in Calgary. Oh, hello, people from Seashell. Hello, people from Calgary. This is wonderful. I, I'm glad you can 
make it. I do know where I know where that is. She, you mean I've, Calgary or Seashell? Seashell, I've been. Oh yes, we yes, went. Yes, I, I took a, a group of young people. She included Ontario. She'd never seen the ocean before. That way. And so, but we we survived like on kayaking on the trip with other young folks. So it was really lovely. Survived is is the appropriate word. Yes. <laughs> so can you pass the? So we're gonna make icing now, not that. Do you know well Calgary? Pass the measuring okay. scoops. Okay. Measuring Sorry. Scoops. All right, let's let's get back to work here. Back to work. All right. So what are we doing? You want two teaspoons of milk. Two teaspoon of milk. So did you hear that? Two teaspoon of milk. This is, a, it's, which one? The, the, this one. This yes. one. Okay. Only two teaspoon of milk. Mm -hmm. Boy, this is going to be hard. Oh, Santa Christmas bells. One. And it can be estimated, it doesn't have to be perfect. Two. Maybe just a tiny bit more. And a little bit more. Okay. There. Okay. Now, estimate. Estimate. Now for oh. two teaspoons of cream cheese. Two teaspoons of cream cheese. Estimate. You can just use a knife, Father. It's okay. You can estimate. use a knife. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what does two teaspoons look like, Father? I have no idea. Great. One. It looks like one and a half there. I'll put a little bit more. I like cream cheese. Cream cheese is delicious. It makes it oh. tangy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Okay, estimate. We'll right. use the measuring. About a quarter teaspoon. Tiny amount of vanilla. By the way, this is uh, mm, Mexican so vanilla. This is what I, the last time I went to uh, uh, Mexican vanilla. This is the last time I went to see our lady. I picked up some of this. Of all places, Walmart, Walmart in Mexico, but it was good stuff, right? And so this is pure natural vanilla. Okay, so how much are we are we putting a quarter, in? A quarter, a quarter teaspoon, tiny amount. You don't want too much. Okay, a quarter teaspoon. I have to look for a quarter teaspoon. One eighth, one quarter, right there. Okay. Okay, very good. Mmm, the vanilla. It's really beautiful. It's really nice. nice and strong. So whisk those together a little bit. Whisk those together. Okay. And now you're going to add, just to break up the, the cream cheese. So more? One cup of sugar. Add. Oh, Is wait. that enough? Add okay. a cup of sugar. One cup of sugar. Icing sugar. Mm -hmm. One cup of icing sugar. Whoa, this, really? is this one cup? Um, um, Three quarter. Most likely not. Is it the whole thing? This is one cup, right? That's a cup. That's right. Okay. Unless they would be. One cup. Oh, I got more. I just need a little bit. One cup of icing sugar. So what do we? We twirl it around. Yeah, mix it up, Father. Really oh, where, where's my? You take stuff out if you. Is uh, where's the whisk? I took it from you. It's right here. Right. Okay. All right. Very good. Whisking it together. Careful. I'm looking for plastic bags. Margaret, do we have plastic bags up here? Like a Ziploc? Just, we just need one. I'm on my. Here's a Ziploc. Is it clean? Ah! Perfect. So, this, should it look like this or what's going on? More. <laughs> So if it shouldn't be clumpy, you want this to be smooth. You can always, if you're having trouble go with your whisk, you can go Well, it's not going anywhere. A wooden spoon if you need to. If the whisk is, okay, so we can add, when it's clumpy, you can add just a tiny bit more milk. So we, if it's clumpy, add more milk. Okay, can we use, can I use my hand? No. No, I can't use my hand. I think hands look easier, but okay. Well, because we'll want it to be smooth and okay. runny, so it, it won't stick to your whisk. It is sticky. Say a prayer. Say a prayer. You can use a wooden spoon too if you need. Okay. Walking, watching. Icing is more eyeballing. It's about texture. Okay, I learned the technique. Woo! I'm sweating. There you go. Okay. Hey, that looks really good. Okay. Um, scissors. So they should not be clumpy. So I have to continue on doing this. I think I'm losing energy here. You're good. Okay, yeah, okay. so we're going to do this as if we don't, as if we just had normal Ziploc. 
So you're going to take your spoon and you're going to put your icing in the bag. Just hang on. It's still clumpy. Okay. Ah. So I now appreciate <laughs> all the men and women who bring me a lot of desserts and good stuff. This is hard work. Thank you. <laughs> so, I think it's better. Uh, it's for sure. That's, that's okay. very good. Yeah. Okay. That's very good. Okay. Okay. All right. Now really. we can make it thicker if you want. We can make right. it thicker too. But what do you think? Thicker? A little bit. A little bit thicker. You can Just, use the whip. So thick enough so that it doesn't oh. run off the bun. So you know these buns here, we're gonna we're gonna make a put cross. it all around here. And so if it's runny, that's uh, it's not gonna form a cross. Right? Makes sense. So okay. Nice. We'll do Is it again. Right? Yeah. Icing sugar again added. No, let's go just keep mixing the charge. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like um it tastes like marshmallows. <laughs> that's a compliment. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's the machine? You can use the machine. <laughs> we don't have one. Right. To clarify, this is after you bake them. This is now icing them in case, just because I'm a little bit fast. Oh, okay. Who yeah. are the two other cooks besides Father Matthew? One is Julia. She's, uh, she's here in the office. She's responsible for uh, formation of, uh, you know, uh, of... Uh, what are you? No one knows. We don't. We still. We don't know how to describe what I do. Well, formation of leaders and and faith formation in the parish. Alpha, small groups, and and this. what's your name? And this is Jen here. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jen, who is a, a mother in the parish, but she's also the violinist um, in uh, in the choir as well. And so she's uh, she's very kindly. Uh, is teaching us how to do hot cross buns. Um, okay, I'm told it is good. So now you want to put them in a bag. Nice job. That was a lot of mix. <laughs> okay. So we put it in, in a bag. I'm going to pour your spoon out. More. Putting some more. So we're putting it in a bag like this. <laughs> so I guess we're going to cut up a hole later. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and then squeeze it out to make the cross. Ingenious. So we don't have to go out and buy one of those fancy chef. All of it? Well, yeah. Okay. Don't you want your icing? Is that a tough workout? You're a little out of breath. Slow yes. Down. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Take a breath. Relax. We can pace ourselves. Right. Okay. Pretty good. And these are the most chaotic hot cross buns ever. It shouldn't be this stressful. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. That's good for now. That's it. That's good for now. So, so we're gonna and you can snip. Like that. This is a consistency. I'll see if right. I can show that. Okay. We're gonna. Can you see? We're gonna cut a little corner. A corner, and then you want me to do it? Yep. So you twist the bag in your hand until your icing, see your icing is coming out. Okay. Hold like that, and just kind of okay. drizzle your icing into a cross. Oh boy, in the name of the Father, <laughs> there you go. the yes. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, that's perfect. In the name of the Father, I'm going to baptize every one of them. <laughs> of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to make them Catholic. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. Okay, this is how you're supposed to do it. Oh, you want me to do every one of them? Well, but you can do like long lines too. Long lines too. Did you hear that? Long lines too. Oh. So you can just go all the way down one line. So, okay, so. Here you go. Yeah, in the name sure. of the Father. <laughs> can you see it? And of the Son. Whoops. And of the Holy all Spirit. The all the way. Father's going to get dumped at a bakery after this. 
Wow. Bakers, I heard they wake up very early in the morning, like two or three or three or four. <gasps> Beautiful. Look at that. And now they're ready to eat them. Oh, there we go. Woo. So there we go. What will we do next now? Eat them. Oh, we eat them. Okay. <laughs> So according to the grade two, I should wash my hands. Okay, I will do that. If okay. anyone has any questions for Father Matthew, he'll probably be less distracted and can answer them now. I feel very uncomfortable just standing here. Here, why don't you cut them? I'll get you some food. Okay, Father Matthew, can you please? So getting back to Catholic tradition, and uh, and food. So we we talked about the pretzel. We talked about hot cross buns. What else? And it in Italy, there's so many. Just during Lent and Easter, so many type of food. Like the, I think I, I still I had it in my mind. But that uh, Anna just you know the baschetta and I, the other one I can't I forgot. <laughs> Uh, this is not a tagliare, it's like to cut. Okay, Father Matthew, I'm so thrilled that I will have another saved video from the cooking show. I will have to try this one. Looking forward to the third show from Chef Father Matthew. <laughs> Wonderful. I don't know what we can make next, but there are plenty. Somebody can cook some. Oh, I have a question. Somebody's, okay, in the... I'm outside in the pick and <laughs> Yes, we can try. Whoever it is, Facebook user. I wonder if we can uh, give some to the grade twos. And... Yeah, we probably can give some to maybe well, there you folks go. to try. But you have to be careful. This is with flour. I don't know the allergies of the... These have flour and butter and eggs. Flour, butter, and eggs. And milk. Okay. So talking about Catholic food, there's also Catholic drinks. If some of you are unaware... You ever heard of this herb drink called Chartreuse? This is a, a great story behind it. It's Carthusians. The, they can't see it? Can you see it now? So this is uh, Carthusian. Now, because why I brought it out is uh, made of uh, herbs and bitter herbs. And the Carthusians of France are still making it. But the story was that during the French Revolution, when... Uh, you know, they were the killing priests and nuns and Catholics all over. It was a crazy time, the French Revolution. And so they kicked the Carthusians, the monks, there out of their monastery. And they, the, uh, those who took it over tried to make Chartreuse. And they couldn't. And so they had to reinvite the Carthusians back to have Carthus. You know, the French, you know, they love their, their drinks. Even if ideologically they can't agree but they love their drinks. And so the Carthusians are still making their chartreuse until this day. So it's a very, so like a bitter herb. So like the, for the Seder meal, you know, if you don't have bitter herbs, this could be a bitter mm -hmm. herb for you. But it is a, a, you know, if you have stomach, other things, but it is really good. Should chartreuse. No, we won't try, not on camera. I think it's illegal. <laughs> and this is Jägermeister. It's also a bitter herb. But it has a Catholic tradition. Can you cut open a bun? Someone said. Yeah, cut open a bun. Okay. Here, Father Jonah. I will. After this is also, you know, for today's celebration for bitter herb and the Seder meal and everything like that. In remembrance of Jesus, this is a Jägermeister, a, a, a herb bee drink as well. A very famous, I think, among young people. But do you see the deer here? That's the sign of Jesus. Jesus and and the cross right there in between this stag. So the tradition is, this is the sign of St. Hubertus and Eustace, who became uh, Christian or Catholic when they saw the cross, it's hard to, uh, the cross in between the stag, uh, his head. And so they became Christian, but many other things, reasons why, but also the vision, they saw that vision. And so Saint Hubertus is the uh, became the um, the uh, patron saint of hunters, and so that's a that's a little bit of for you if you're wondering 
why there's a stag is the stag is Jesus himself, the sign of Jesus and of, uh, and this drink, this popular drink. So a lot of drinks, like even champagne, the best champagne is Dom Perignon. The Dom has come from a priest to develop champagne to this day. We enjoy champagne because from, from that uh, uh, Benedictine priest uh, that made champagne. And he also invented using cork instead of wood to the, you know put over the bottle as well. So a lot of things he developed and, and improved on, on, on the process of making wine. This is incredible. So Catholic tradition, so many ways. I think, so we'll cut one open, but I think in this camera, because okay. actually Emma, this camera is better. So we'll do it on Father's, where you can see Father. And why don't you rip it open? That way people can see really close. You got to rip it like that. You want me to rip it? Take the plate. Okay. Take the plate. All right. I guess you want me to rip it open. Yeah, get close, get nice and close. Can you see? So people can see. Okay, there. Whoa. Whoa, looks really good. Soft. Gosh, take a bite. No, I can't, <laughs> but it looks nice. Very good, like that, consistency like that. It's very soft. Yeah, so then, there we go. And then Emma, we'll cut one down here. Okay. Do you want to cut it as well? No, you can do it. It's actually too soft to really. There we go. Yeah, it's very um, soft. Very soft and beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so this type, you won't lose your teeth. Taste test. Jen, come on in. We'll taste test. Oh, uh, we'll have mask on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Okay, I'll taste test. No, oh, you taste test. No. You can do it. Oh, boy. Question for Jen, is there a good gluten-free option? Um, I can, I have a gluten-free flour blend that I, that would work with the yeasted version, but sourdough, like risen breads that are gluten-free are really tricky. Um, but I can send you my gluten-free flour recipe if you want. Would everybody go? Father's going to come back in uh He'll come do a taste test. He's just taking his mask off. Okay. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. gonna, drum can roll. We, can we get some drum roll? Let me see. Let's hear it. Mm. <laughs> Very smooth. Texture. Mm -hmm. I can taste the, the raisins. What? Well, like the cinnamon, the cinnamon, cinnamon and ginger, mm, and the nice. ginger in there can taste all orange. of that orange as well. So this is tastes really healthy. And those of you who you know have you know lost your teeth or anything like that, or have trouble chewing, this is just perfect. It's so really soft and smooth. I'm just kidding, right? If, you know, for the Catholics out there that have trouble chewing, <laughs> mm, mm, it's excellent. A little bit of the um, the um, the icing on it, superb. But I, mm. that's really good. Thank you, Jen. Okay. This is just incredible. Mm. Wow, and it, it was not hard, was it? I thought it was very simple. Now someone said they're now a fan of Jaeger. <laughs> so the it's very simple. It was not hard at all, and so I, I know it. Jen makes it. Uh, a very, it looks simple, but it is simple in, in a certain way, just mixing and, and just waiting for the rise, right? Like even for us, the waiting of the rising, we usually, you know, get our buns at the store, but a symbolism of the wait, there is a lot of waiting. So to from Good Friday to, oh, 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 that's Margaret. Okay. <laughs> there, there's the rising that happens on Easter Sunday. So the, the next oh. Okay, in two minutes, the one that we made will come out of the, the oven. Very good. Mm. I think Christina awesome. said we wait three days for Jesus to rise. We can wait an hour and a half for the bread. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Did you hear that? Someone said if we, if we can wait, if we can wait three days for Jesus to rise, we can wait for at least two hours for the, you know, the yeast to make rise. Oh, there yeah. it is. Uh -huh. yeah. mm. <laughs> very, very good. Okay, I think 
answer at all. Do you have any questions? I can eat this with my mouth. That is, if you have questions, thank you. Looks delicious from Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Um, and then Pandora. Simple enough to make for Easter. Excellent. Well, you can eat it tomorrow, right? Vanessa's wondering. Where do you buy the special alcohol? Oh my goodness. I usually this is my brother Louis. He just brings it to me. I don't actually <laughs> buy it. You know, he 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 gets it for me and I ask him and he does. So you can buy crazy Margaret. Chartreuse. I think this one I bought. It, it just go to your local um, um, alcohol or a government alcohol store and it's there. Jägermeister, the same. It's it's everywhere as well, right? But Don, the champagne that I mentioned, Don um, Perignon, I don't know where to get that. It's I think it's high end, uh, high end uh, champagne. But uh, there you go. It's wonderful. Okay, uh, great job, Father. Happy Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter to whoever it is. I thought Facebook you were saying that to yourself. <laughs> Father? Yes. Are, are, are we improving every time we do this? Yes. So I'm glad you can join us today. And so remember today, today is the institution of the Eucharist. So celebrate well. This is not a, a it's kind of not a totally feast day, but not a fast day neither. But you can celebrate because it's the day in which Jesus gives us his very body and his very blood for us to share, to, to give us his, his very self, the sign of his love. So I, I, I hope you celebrate well today, the institution of, of the Eucharist and the priesthood. Without the priesthood, you know, you can't have the Eucharist. So yeah, I have ne I'll never be out of a job. You know? <laughs> so, so that's the, the good thing about being a priest. You know? Even if you don't get paid, you're still always working. It's always the celebration of the sacraments. So wonderful you could join me. And I hope you, some of you can uh, join me in celebration, not only uh, of the Mass tonight, but there's also confession happening as well. And after the Mass, there's adoration of the Lord from usually from 9 to midnight tonight. If you can come and spend some time in personal private prayer, that will happen. And veneration of the cross. Oh, yes. And tomorrow we have this very special. We have a beautiful cross set up, up outside lit for the evening, of course. But you can venerate, bring a rock with your intention or your prayer and put it at the foot of the Lord, okay? Um, not to throw at the Lord, but at the mm -hmm. foot of the Lord, okay? And so as a sign of your faith and your love of the Lord who died for us on the cross. Hot cross buns, right? Hot cross bun. Where is the hot cross bun? Okay. Oh, here it is. So there it is, hot cross buns. It's a sign of his, his death on the cross. So... And then, of course, on Saturday, we have, uh, we have four uh, individuals coming into full communion with the church. That is, they were already baptized, but they have become, uh, they have become, they have become, uh, they want to become Catholic. And so four will become Catholic uh, on the Holy Saturday in the vigil. Um, and two others, who will be confirmed. So altogether six will be confirmed that evening. Okay, so it is, it's gonna be a great celebration, although we can't have anyone in, in the church, but we still celebrate. We'll find a way to get them uh, coming into full communion and confirm and receive the first communion as well. So it's gonna be a great celebration. And of course, on Easter, Day, I hope to see many of you going through the drive-through as well as being able to uh, come uh, in for some time of personal private prayer. Be aware that the Mass on Sunday will be changed the 11, 15 to 12 uh, in the afternoon, okay? So remember that, so that you don't go at, come at, uh, you know, live stream at 11.30, at 11.15, and Father Matthew, uh, no Mass at that time, okay? So, so wonderful to see all of you. See you tonight, Father. Mrs. Uh, miss you, the Finnegans from Seashell. Oh, hello, people. Good to see you. Oh, wonderful. So what else do we need to do? 
Well, these ones are the ones that just came out. They're on the pot. Okay. And they this have, just came out. Don't touch. Don't touch. Ha, ha, ha. It's okay. I'm all right. <laughs> My hands are, are no longer, uh, you know, functional. Okay. It's just dead. So and I'm so, just kidding. <laughs> and we just put some marmalade glaze on them. So. Which is this. The glazing mm -hmm. goes on. Mm -hmm. And then when they're cool, you add your icing. And when they are cool, you add your icing. And we're waiting for the other ones to rise, and that's it. So that's that's how it's made. So glazing, marmalade glazing, and then the method of putting the cross on. Oh, they look nice. They're beautiful. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Love you all. And have a wonderful Holy Week. And I hope to see you during Easter sometime. God bless you all. Bye. Bye.